Six days you may labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. Keep it separate. Uh, keep it set apart from the ordinary uh, rhythm of time. There's a good reason why you know, historians are saying that post-World War II, we entered the period called the Great Acceleration. It's that people now feel the pacing of their lives has accelerated to a point where they don't have time to care for themselves. They don't have time to care for family members. I think our culture right now is profoundly burned out. Two-thirds of Americans say that they're working more than 40 hours any given week. We have to work more in order to sustain the same level of living. The labor movement in America is a surprisingly a religious story, and it does often converge at the issue of Sabbath. Shabbat is a revolutionary concept. It actually changed human history. Uh, for the first time, it introduced the concept of mandated rest. The very heart of the idea is a kind of workers' rights idea. Sabbath has ethical implications. Work should not be what defines us as human beings. It's a commandment. It comes from God. That's why we observe Shabbat as a Christian. I don't think we take the Sabbath seriously enough. If Sabbath rest was going to flourish and live in their lives, something else was going to have to die. And I just never had an appreciation for the Sabbath day or understanding of it. All of that came to me recently. And I've been pastoring 34 years. A lot of what it translates into is, I wish I just had more time in which I just paused to breathe, to think about what it was that I was actually chasing after. We realize that time is our only non-renewable resource. Latino Catholics identify with the story of Exodus, the story of the Israelites wandering the desert. It's like the whole week is hectic, and then all of a sudden, you light the Shabbos candles, and you're in a different world. Sabbath isn't simply a pious teaching. It's not an add-on. What's at issue is the very meaning of life. 